It's understood the government's scientific committee on vaccine preventable diseases will hold a meeting on Wednesday to discuss the procurement of a new generation of COVID vaccines. Respiratory disease expert David Hoy says he expects the city's COVID caseload will reach its peak again between this month and the end of this year. Jackie Lynn reports. Speaking with TVB News, respiratory disease expert Professor David Hoy from the Chinese University of Hong Kong said that lately some 100 to 120 COVID patients are admitted to hospitals every day. Professor Hoy said the COVID pandemic previously peaked between April and May this year, and antibody levels of local residents are expected to decline after around half a year. So the next peak for the city's COVID caseload should be between this month and the end of this year. The XBB variant will remain the dominant strain in circulation. Currently, Hong Kong's COVID vaccines cannot prevent infections involving the XBB variant. Hui, who is also a member of the government's scientific committee on vaccine preventable diseases, revealed the panel will consider procuring three brands of XBB targeting COVID jabs. Hui said the jabs could help generate antibodies against XBB variants, as well as two COVID strains in circulation overseas, e.g. 5.1 and BA 2.86. Two of the three brands involved are Moderna and Pfizer. Both use the mRNA technology just like BioNTech. The third brand is a protein-based vaccine. Its second and third phases of clinical trials are ongoing, but preliminary data is available. Dr. Hui added these XBB targeting jabs have similar side effects as existing vaccines, such as pain and swollenness near the injection site. Some vaccine recipients might experience a mild fever, fatigue and sore muscles after inoculation. When the new generation of vaccines is introduced to Hong Kong, Professor Hui said he expects the government would only subsidize the vaccination of high-risk groups, including the elderly and pregnant women. Jacqueline, TVB News.